All right, LD2, here's a quick video for the expectations for your first SCR for module two. So um, you saw the picture that I found. You saw um, my future job, my house, the hobbies, basically what I'm doing right now in my current life. Now I might add that and create that into an SCR. So for instance, I only have these first two sentences here, just an example. Um, you've got six sentences, I believe, all together. So this first sentence, I, it's pretty much given to you as I, was, as I explained earlier. So I wrote this entire thing out. So I'm not adding into, um, I'm not adding into this right here. I'm not just typing in, uh, you know, 32 right here. I'm gonna type it out where I have my space to write the entire paragraph. So first sentence, 20 years from now, I'll be 32 years old and I expect my life to be much different. Okay, that's my first sentence. Um, sentence two, I have my sentence starter. After I graduated from high school, I then graduated from. I included that in my typed out paragraph. So that's part of our check for understanding. Did I use every sentence starter that was given to me to start all of my sentences? For these first two sentences, yes, I have. After I graduated from high school, I then graduated from Metropolitan State University of Denver and University of Colorado Denver. First two sentences hit all of my criteria for, for success. I have the correct punctuation. I'm, I have capitalized sentences. I have periods. I have commas. My uh, spelling is correct. I have all of that. I used both sentence starters that were given to me. I saw those there. All I did was type those exact words in, and then add it based on my information. Third, did I create my own sentence starters when asked to do so? Questions five and six, you'll have to do that. If you look here, on my last two sentences, I did that. Um, are my sentences in order? All you gotta do, sentence one, this is your sentence starter. Sentence two, this is your sentence starter. You'll see all of the other sentences mapped out for you. It's up to you to create an entire paragraph on your own, a thorough paragraph. And did you discuss all six of the boxes you found pictures for? I did do that. I've got my colleges. I've got where I work now, what I do as a teacher. I have the apartment that I live in in Capitol Hill. I have the car that I drive. And I have my hobbies. Hit each box. Um, follow my sentence starters. I make sure and hit all of my criteria for success. Make sure you do that for your um, submissions. Again, I don't want you typing in your responses, just filling in or adding to these sentence starters. We practice a ton of this um, already, the first two trimesters of actually physically writing out the, the sentence starters. Sentence starters are there to help you create strong sentences, but we have to practice writing those out and then figuring out what academic language we can pull from the questions to create our own. So this is a mix of what we've been doing already this uh, or these past two trimesters. We're going to bring that back in and get it and get our minds kind of focused on that process. Um, again, any questions, I'll be around to help you with this. Again, this is where I want your response on your document. Below where it says, write out your, your entire paragraph in the space below. I want a complete paragraph written out for this.